morning to everyone joining from all over the world. Yeah, the uh, Kathmandu TU cricket ground, pictures down ever. It's about 3 degrees around 7 in the morning. At the moment, it has risen to about 9. Nice conditions to have a double header to start with. Match number 29, the Kathmandu Knights against Biratnagar Super Kings. Winner goes through. The other automatically still have a chance, but wait. Got to wait for the Poker Avengers and the Farves United game results in the afternoon. Welcome to match 29, and it's Kathmandu Knights versus Biratnagar Super Kings. The team that wins today will automatically qualify for the top four, and the team that loses still has a mathematical chance to qualify. I have the captain from Kathmandu Knights, Gyanandra Malla and from Biratnagar Super Kings, Rohit Patel, and the match referee, Mohammed Shafiq. So can you spin the coin, Gyanandra? He it's heads. It's a tails. So, Gyanandra Mulla, you've won the toss. Where and what, what you decide to do? Uh, we're going to bat first. So, f the news from the centre is Kathmandu Knights have won the toss and elected to bat. Those are the teams. Kathmandu Knights batting first. Jali, Lokesh, Blake, Santosh, Ganendra, Skipper, Gautam, Bashir, Sunam Gautam, Kamalari, Carol, and Abhinash Bora for the uh, Biratnagar Super Kings. He's bowling first today. Guran Shu, South will be opening the batting. Skipper, Powder at number three. All round the Talat will be at number four. Rochala, Baskota, Vivek, Rocky Nandan, Surya Tamang, who's been really impressive. Kion was uh, the hero yesterday. And Nandan as the fast bowling. And the batsman Santosh Karki, who uh, again hasn't been in great form. And this guy, Sunam Gautam, who's been in good form with the bat and the ball. Keon Joseph is going to be spicy today. He's, I've seen him warm up today and he's going to let them go and it'll be a fiery morning. Keon Joseph running in from the Chobaran. First ball coming up. Slight loose, nicely played through extra cover for a couple of runs. Just like that, outside edge. First, one next bat boundary for the day. Nicely played, clip towards mid wicket for a couple of runs minimum. Outfield, as Monty Panasa said, is not the quickest in the morning case, but quick enough for the second one next bat boundary of the day. Down the leg side today, long on. And that uh, Rohit Powder let me off. Ran back towards long on and uh, caught it really easily. Oh, Biratnagar Super King. That's what we were talking about earlier. Just getting that little shape on the ball, and he got a lovely shape on it. Nice little drop. Sunam Gotham is out for eight. Kathmandu Knights lose their first wicket for 20. That's what I'm talking about. He's on the up. Line was straight and hammered it over mid-off for the 1x bat boundary. It's a dream delivery for any left-arm spinner, isn't it? Long on in place and easily taken. Better off going with the turn through mid-off. But in the end, Rocky Nandan's good bowling rewards him with the second wicket. Yes, another 1x bat wicket for Rocky. And he just got over the wall lovely shape and that was absolutely brainless cricket the man was there and he gave him a catch Lokesh Baum and Kathmandu Knights are 26 for two um, yeah but it's, it's, it is what it is so yeah it's, 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 uh, wicket is like I said wicket is really good to back on so it's, it shouldn't be a problem for us well that was a six for your team so you must be delighted Ah, coming down the track. That is first one expat boundary for Alex Blake. That boy with you now. It goes over the offside. Lovely stroke. One bounce for Knight's batting lineup. Really is critical, the left hander. As this skews away. And backward point takes a simple catch. The angle from Powdle works the trick. And the Kathmandu Knights lose their third. Look at this. It was needless. Tried to hit it over mid on, but got the leading edge. Santos Karki goes for 34. Kathmandu nice the 55 for 3. Pro title will continue with his very much part time off breaks. National team captain. And he's going to be 
sliced away off a top edge. Run away into the 1x bat. Advertising hoardings for a boundary four. Rohit Powdle. That is going to be taken. Didn't look the most convincing catch. By the TV umpire, he's taking his time. And they're going to say, not out. Maybe a little bit of a surprise, a green light, and a life for a jelly. Here comes Tamang. Blake goes downtown. That is high, handsome, an almighty strike for six. That is one X bat maximum, a huge one. That's exactly what he does. Now has he got enough of it? Oh yes he has. Not for the first time in this tournament, Alex Blake starts it over with back-to-back -back maximums. And look at Surya Tamang, he just varied his length but he was not afraid to throw the ball up in the air. Clubbed it down the ground. Now Longlot is in place, but he's not going to get there. This tactic is not paying off with a full toss. That's another one X bat maximum. Alex Blake. And I tend to get inspiration with my co partner, Bravis. That's just under us, Monty. Beautiful shot again. Deep Skalik. Few bounces and a four. Cut Monty nice on a roll. Oh, lovely. Beautiful, beaten off the pitch, beaten in the air, played uh, too early, undone by an absolute Jaffa. Yeah, that was beautiful bowling and he saw him early doors getting into that base position and if you look close to his feet, he bowled a slower ball because he wanted pace on it to hit him down the ground. Alex Blake is out for 34 and Kathmandu Knights 107 for 4. Look for the big ones. Leg bias towards fine leg, reverse swing and a boundary. Leg bias being called. We could have the best way to put a break on the scoring. In the air, long off fielder, taken easily. Rohit Powder at long off the skipper and I got to say, Rajali, that was a wrong option. Absolutely the wrong option. And just when you're talking about he needs to get a wicket, he gave it air, enticed him and he fell for the trap. Sandeep Rajali is out for 30, and they lose their fifth wicket for 1-1-7. Ah! How was that? I think it's gone. And I appeal from the commentary box that look adjacent, and Rocky Nandan finishing strong, and finishing strong for Virat Nagar Super Kings. That was brilliant bowling. He bowled a stock delivery into the pads. Gamal Singh is out, first ball, End of the over, 1-1-7 for six. Oh, straight off the stumps in the end. Nicely paced by Gandra Malla. And these are the things they've got to do. They've got to mix around and playing aggressive shots like this. Beautiful shot of extra cover. Probably the shot of the tournament for sure, Gandra Malla. Slow ball, Bashi Ramad. Got the distance, got the elevation, and a massive six. Another slow ball. Ganendra Malla middles it. And he's in the grass banks. What a way to finish this innings. And another one expect maximum, and rightly so. Ganendra Malla finishing strong, and Kathmandu nice at 154 for six. Just when I was discrediting a shot. Target for. Virat Nagar Super Kings is 155. It's going to be a nail biting game. Yes, exactly. Even a good knock by Rajali. Opening star back up at the top. It's not a great series, it has to be said. Strike rate 86.7. Ranchu Sharma, who continues to hold his place in the team. He'll be facing up to Kamal Singhari, he'll get things going. From the far end, the Chobar end of the ground. And here we go. It's 155 to win. That one. Starts right on the money and sound happy to work that into the leg side to get off the mark. 
nicely driven it beats the dive of the fielder and Guyan Andromala gives up the chase it runs away across the outfield that's a lovely shot isn't it big swing and the inside edge is going to squirm away a very fortunate boundary means another lovely sparkly and extra cover drive the first one came off a seamer down the track and finds the gap good batting so quick feet into the sky Bahar the tournament's leading wicket taker into the attack and he strikes from his very first ball Avanesh Bahara is having a quite brilliant tournament totally unnecessary that is one expect wicket for Avinash Bora and the first wicket for the Kathmandu Knights gone for 10 Arjun South we're after the Super Kings 21 for 1 chipped into the leg side full control and he's going to get a boundary just a couple of ounces clipped away and so nearly led by their captain much better line this is maybe just maybe going to go upstairs i think because paddle's so quick yeah we think uh, roy portal so quick in between the wickets he's made this very easily not out of the decision another short ball this time got hold of it and that's a boundary finally gets that slug sweep much straighter than he would have liked but it goes all the way now 50 comes up should be a maximum to close out the power play we'll find out here yeah, indeed it is going to be six to the total we'll get one more look at it nicely picked up down the ground by road pedal clearly bounces over the rope well what it is is that it helps you to get you can bowl it quicker and that's another one expert but four it's about them going out there and show kiss this one's going to be slog swept and i'll just cut you off that's gone all the way for six an impressive strike row at pedal katmandu knight's course and that's 50 for Roy Podell. He's certainly played a captain's knock and he's leading from the front. A brilliant knock under pressure. A must win game for Biratnagar Super Kings. Got a nail biting win yesterday against Farvis United. Rowett Powell is putting on a clinic here. A batting clinic in there to chase down a total with ease. Yeah, it was done beautifully by Roy Podell. Using the pace of the ball down to filing. Oh, thought it was half a chance, a backward point, and instead it's going to be a boundary. I'm not quite sure what's happened here. Oh, there you there there you that there because you might have just jinxed him. Here you have every time we mention the three figure mark. Rowan Powdles nearly ended up running two here. Sharm has turned his back at his skipper. Uh, has the keeper dropped the ball? That'd be interesting to see. Portal is far, far away from the crease. Yeah, he has control of the ball as the stumps are broken. So the red light comes on and Rowan Powell somehow has found a way to get out. He's been run out for 66. And for Atlinger, 115 for two after 14. Trying to get the turn out of the stumps. Oh, good hit, straight down the ground. One bounce over the rope. For the moment. Keeper! Keeper! Ones and twos like this one. Yes. Are all they need. Will we go upstairs? Here it goes. Yeah, he's home. He's home. Garanchi Sharma in trouble, but he survives. Oh, that's very well played. A neat touch, a late touch. A very good one. Down to third man for a boundary. Oh, there's going to be no watching things here from Talat. That might be one of the very biggest sixes of the competition. Yeah, that was a big one. Slow ball picked up nicely by Talat. Straight over the bowler's head. Right into the block hole and so unlucky for Bahari. He could well have had yet another wicket instead. It's an inside edge that squirts away for four. Get to 50. That's exactly what he does. Spot on the money from Garanchi Sharma. It's been a good innings, a measured one playing the anchor roll, four fours. Come from 48 deliveries, and his teammates rise to him. That's a maiden 50 in this year's competition. 
Well done, Garanchu Sharma. 18 gone, 149. Clean them up. Even if the Knights go out, Bahara has another. And he deserves it. Yes, completely missed it. Talat tried to heave it over long on for a six for a maximum and win the match. But misses it completely and the stumps rattled by Bora. Gone for 21 of 12. Pirat Super Kings 150 for three. This is going to be straight down the ground for a boundary. And that's it. That's not going to help the net run rate because it's a maximum to finish for the Bratnagar Super Kings and they go through to the playoffs. They'll almost certainly finish in third position you'd expect. And they will be all set to have a late charge at the trophy. They finish their competition in the league stages on a high. And a big smile from Vivek Yadav. Batting card south out of 10, go run to 51, not out. Podel, the innings that he played today, 66 of 42. Talat, 21 of 12, and Vivek Yadav, 10 of 2. Won by seven wickets, the Super Kings. Yeah, Padel, the pick of those batters for me. For the bowlers, really just two more wickets for Avanesh Bahara to cheer about. Bashir Ahmed, great tournament for him as well. The kid Knights will have to wait to find out whether or not they will be in the playoffs. Raj Rocky Nanan, probably unlucky not to be player of the match, to be honest, with four for 13. And Leon Joseph into their team is out of a lot to them. For the Knights, too many contributions, not enough.